And welcome. Today I'm going to be doing a video tutorial on Blender and how to do some different things involving glass goblets and bottles and some silver stuff. But here's the basic first thing I'm going to be showing you guys. A lot of things I'm going to be showing you here is texture and lighting and camera placement and things such as that and smoothing and a little basic, basic modeling. It's really a basic video to teach you some basic things in Blender. I'm also going to be showing you this one right here. Uh, let's go ahead and render what it is. It's you know more of a silvery. They got nice reflection on them and everything. So I'm going to be showing you how to model those two things. We're going to go ahead and start a new one and go ahead and start here. Now, one thing I do want to say is that... Um, if for any reason I'm running a little bit slow on my computer, it's because I am, right now I am baking a render water sequence, and the water's final resolution is close to 200, it's 220, which is way up there, it's super realistic looking water. I'm just doing it to see what it's going to look like, to see how it's going to look. I'm going to post a video of the final render of it, but I'm just baking it now, and it's been baking for over an hour, and it's only at about frame 30 out of 250. So it's probably going to be baking and rendering all night long. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and get this started. So this is what you're going to want to do first. Let's go into edit mode. Go ahead and turn on wireframe is what I like to do. Then you're going to want to go view and go to your right view or three on the number pad if you prefer to use that. Then also I normally click view when I go to ortho view. So you're going to want these like uh, scales here. So what we're going to do is we're going to drag up to where our cube is at the bottom of our boxes here so we can have room to work. We're just going to go ahead and drag it up one. You click E and then you just drag up and then E drag up. E extrudes the region as it's called. It's extruding it. So we're going to go ahead and do three like that. Then we're going to do a pretty long one. You don't have to be exact with this. Just make sure you have the three there and then make sure you have four here, you know, you could do either two or four. I'll show you what it's for later. I'm going to do four because I think that's going to look a bit better. Then you're going to want to do another long one, and this is going to be your actual goblet spot. So now that you've done that, so it's just your basic box and that stuff, you're going to go ahead and set up this bottom part here, which is going to be the bottom of your glass. We're going to click A to unselect that top one, and then B to get our box select and we're going to select these bottom ones. Now so what we're going to do is we're going to click S for size and then shift Z so that it doesn't size it like up and down you know it just goes out it basically we're going to do that a couple times so my mouse didn't drag it right so let's just do that but your mouse should drag it right hopefully I would hope so we're just going to drag that out some oh gosh dang it I hate when this stuff happens as you can see, my blender is not being totally cooperative now. I even accidentally changed my viewpoint. But there we go. That's what we were going for there. And then up here, so what you can do is if you just... Oh, wait. Go back to right view. I didn't mean to go out of that. Just uh, B to go ahead and select this. You're just going to do the same thing. You're just going to do size and then shift Z so it doesn't go up on that um, scale. And you're just going to bring that out a little bit. You could do it specific with numbers, like you can do the bottom four and this three. It's really up to you. I don't like to get too specific with my stuff. But that's basically what you want to do there. Next step is you're going to come up to here. You want to take this top. So what you're going to want to do is you go back to right view. I'm sorry I keep going out of it. I'm trying to give you guys a good view of it. When you're doing this, you want to stay in right view the whole time. You're going to go ahead and click E to extrude region. Then you're going to click escape basically making it to where it didn't go up or down. Now why do we do this? Well, let me show you. If you take the size of it and bring it down just a slight bit, I'm going to go ahead and show you up here. As you see, that cube has gotten smaller. And then, if you just drop it down... Wait, no, I did, I did that wrong. <laughs> you want to extrude again, and then with this one, you're going to want to drop this one down. And as you can see, it's actually made the whole glass like it made like a tube in the top there is what you're looking for 
So we're going to go back to front view, or it doesn't really matter if you're front, right, or left. It pretty much gives you all the same views. So we're just going to go here. We're going to go ahead and get that about there. And then you're going to want to extrude region again and click escape and just size it way down. And you'll see what, what that's for in a minute. And then you're going to go ahead and select all of this and just go ahead and size it, but do shift Z so it doesn't size you know like your whole thing up crazy or anything I can't I have no clue why this isn't working right hold on size shift Z yeah see it's being all glitchy it's probably because all the things my computer is doing right now but anyways there we go that's more what I was looking for now you got that kind of thing going and right here is why I was telling you why you wanted these here was to put ridges here too just like we did at the bottom so we're gonna go ahead and do this Size that up a little bit, and you know what, oops, I did that wrong, you should probably have a fifth one in there so you can do two, but I only did one. And now this is kind of tricky, you're going to want to go on the top view and you're going to want to turn solid on. So now, you can kind of see the solid of it, not just the wireframe, but do not, you see I just selected that and I could see everything, do not select that. You just want to be able to see these, and you want to select these, and that's what you want to do with them, is just slightly bring them down a little bit right that's what you kind of want to do there is you want to kind of bring them down some so that your cup kind of drops down and has a good bit of dip in it and I don't know why it's messing those up but anyways just bring it down a tad it's not going to matter too much in the end and then you're going to go ahead and click A to unselect that and then A to select everything then you're going to click shift 2 and then shift 2 should I don't know why it's not but that should go ahead and subsurface everything a good bit. And now we're going to go into, you know what, at, wait, oops, forgot, doing this new Blender. Alright, you want to come over here, add modifier, subdivide surface, go ahead and put two levels on view and three levels on render. So now you got this right here. We're going to go back to object mode, and now you have this right here. And I kind of don't like how small that is at the bottom, so we're going to go back into edit mode. You can play around with it until it's to your liking basically that's the best part about it is you know you can you can play with it until it's what you want it to be there we go that's a bit better I like that more so we're going to go back to object mode and now we got this goblet here we we'll go ahead and hit the smooth so it gets all nice and smooth out then we're going to scale it down so it's nice and small here now in order to make the bottle I'm not going to actually make the bottle just to save time here but in order to make the bottle is all you would have to do is just shift A and you're gonna add in a cylinder and you're gonna size your cylinder down you know just get it like that I'm doing this really basic because I'm about to delete it anyways then you go into edit mode and you'd be like A and then you'd extrude that up and you'd size it down a little bit extrude it up a little bit more size down then extrude it up make the bottle top all that there you go and like if you were to go object mode hit smooth it gets all smooth you know if you actually proportioned it right it looked like a bottle and then you just add in another cylinder and you make it slightly bigger so it wraps around and that's what gives you like the label on the bottle or whatever that's how you're going to do that but now we got this we're going to go ahead and hit D or shift D to duplicate it and we're just going to drag its duplications over like this and we're going to size this one up a little bit just give us those different sizes shift D again we're just going to drag this one over to here, sized up a little bit more. Now we got those. So now you got all three of your gauntlets, goblets. And the thing about that, them, the thing about them is that it, what you do on one's texture affects all of their textures. So that means basically you can, they'll all be silver right off the bat. You don't have to do each one individually, which makes things a lot easier. We're going to go ahead and give ourselves a floor now too by clicking Shift A and adding in a plane. Oh wait, hold on kill that uh, shift C to center that so our plane comes up right at the bottom there and we're just gonna go ahead and size it up a bunch so it's way bigger so we don't have to worry about our camera viewing off of it um, so our gauntlets are coming a little bit below let's yeah it's fine yeah we could drag the gauntlets up a bit just drag them all up so they're all level so they were a bit below just get that set Alright, there we go. 
Now I'm going to show you how I like to set up my camera view. I'll split it by grabbing this top corner thing and it splits your screen into two, whatever that was previously. And we're going to click view here. We're going to click camera. And that gives us the view of our camera. Now over here, we can go ahead and take our camera and we can move it around. So I'm going to go ahead and move it to where we're good and centered onto there. And that's all we need to do with our camera. So now we can go ahead and just right click and then join area and push it that way so we got this again first thing we're gonna go ahead and just put a simple surface for our floor um, did I just move my camera all around what was that what is that dot oh I was moving my plane Wow alright anyways we're gonna go ahead and put a simple surface on it so we're just oops I need to drag a bit more Our simple texture on it we're gonna go right here to materials or texture whatever this is the circly red thing we're gonna click new and then we're going to go ahead and just right here, and for this first one with the green glass bottles, we're going to drag this back to here-ish. And then as all we're going to do is we're just going to drag this down, and it's going to give us a deep brown color for like a wooden table or whatever. And that's all we're going to do there. And then next thing we're going to do is we're going to click on our gauntlet. Just click on the first one you did. And as what we're going to do first is we're going to go ahead and set this to like a greenish tone. So we actually take all that away and set it to about around 300-ish, just 300 in green, like 304, that's fine, and just take those all the way down. And then I like to turn my specularity up so they really let light bounce off of them. And then turn your transparency on and go ahead and drag back your alpha about in between 2 and 300-ish around that area. And we're going to go back to like right there. And now is all you gotta do is click render, render image, and there you go. That's that, you know, maybe I could use those being a bit more transparent, so we're gonna drag that back a bit more. Let's render image again. Yeah, it looks a bit better there. And now you can go ahead, and now we're gonna do our lighting. So we don't really want this, but we're gonna go ahead and click spot and turn into a spotlight. We're gonna drag it over to here, and let's go ahead and size it some here so there we go we're gonna rotate it on the z-axis so it's kinda of facing our bottles here we're gonna bring it up over kinda of wanna get it to where it's directly on them it's a bit hard to tell but that should be good go ahead and size it up a bit so it's good and around them we're gonna go ahead and give it lots and lots of energy since it's a spotlight and it's kinda of far away it's gonna be weak so we can go ahead and put energy in 10 we're going to render that, and there you go. It's got that nice look. You know, some of the shadows are a bit weird with when you're using things this transparent. But there you go with that. Now we're going to move on to the one that I think is a lot cooler, which is the glass goblets, or the silver ones. So what you're going to do here is you're going to set all of these to... Well, you know what? Here's an easy way to do it. Set them all maxed out. So just set them all up to be one... One, eh, one, and then one. Now they're all ones. You can go ahead and just drag this down until you have about point two, point two. That's kind of what you want. See, I got point two two there, but that's fine. So now, is what we're going to do is we're going to turn the transparency off. We're going to go down to our mirror, and I'm going to say make sure it's a depth of two. And then we're going to go ahead and give it um, about 0.3-ish on there. And then I like to go ahead and turn my mirror slightly gray. And now what we're going to do is we're going to change our ground image too. And as all I'm going to do with that is set it back to total white first by maxing all of these out. Then we're going to turn it to a grayish tone. So just drag it pretty much anywhere in the gray area. I like it a bit brighter than my gauntlets, but just slightly. I like to turn that up a tad bit. But anyways, um, now you got that. So now, so what we can focus on next is our light. So now this time, we're going to go ahead and use a area light. We're going to turn the energy on that way down, though. And we can go ahead and see how it has that little pointer. We can go ahead and get that little pointer to be try and centered in our goblets. So let's go ahead and turn that energy down. You can just turn it down to where you feel comfortable, and you could do test renders to see. I know that that much brightness is pretty, pretty.
pretty good on it. And lastly, we're going to go ahead and take this gauntlet and rotate it on the x-axis to give it that knocked over effect that it had. We're going to make sure we're, yeah, see we're running into some other gauntlets here and stuff, so we're going to go ahead and slide it around. Let's make sure we're not going through our floor. Yeah, there we go. Our floor was way too low there. All right, now it's sitting on our floor. Yeah, see, that's kind of going through there, so we kind of want to bring that up our floor up here and there we go yeah that's looking good so now we got our light and our camera set up let's go ahead and check it out and there you go oh see it's still going through the floor a bit but that's beside the point there's the nice glassy you got the nice reflex on it and you can continue to play around with some of the settings of this like let's see what we can do here um, you turn the intensity of that up and then you could turn your specularity to like tune. That's going to give you a big bright shine off of them. That makes them really shiny like that, you know, which looks really cool. Or you could do something like uh, maybe try tune up here too. Let's see how this looks. This might look weird. I've never done this before. Yeah, there you go. If you put tune on up there, it gives it that black glassy with the tune white lighting on both of them. So that looks better than my original render actually. So really like that. Um, hope you guys liked the video. Comment, rate, subscribe, tell me what you thought, and make sure you check out my water render. I'm making that just so everyone can see what a really mega high quality water render is. If you guys make water renders at all, it's just a simple one in a box. But if this puts anything into perspective, your normal water render, I don't know how much space it says it takes when it bakes it probably does around like 20 megabytes or something if you're doing something that looks realistic this is taking up one gig just for the bake and like i said it's been baking for hours now and it's like only on it's probably about frame 40 at this point so yeah but there it is that's how that looks uh hope you like it comment rate subscribe and tell me what other things